Good evening, dear students, dear listeners. I'm Professor uh, Dr. Zugar Mamadov, Professor of Department of Forensic Medicine in Azerbaijan Medical University. And I'm going to give online lecture on the topic of forensic medicine, subject of forensic medicine and its methods, uh, the forensic medical expertise, history of development of forensic medicine in Azerbaijan and worldwide, and some information about organizational and processual means legal basis of forensic medicine in Azerbaijan. So let's start. I'm glad to speak uh, with you and communicate at least online because you know that because of uh, quarantine conditions in Azerbaijan we don't have the possibility to have direct communication during our lectures but using new, uh, modern technologies we continue our educational process and I hope uh, you all will listen this lecture and will be uh, in your educational process in time. Uh, uh, I am uh, recommending as our state recommendations to stay at home, not to go out, to preserve your health and health of your close people living together uh, from possible contamination of coronavirus, which is now worldwide pandemic alert. <coughs> so what is the forensic medicine? Forensic medicine is a branch of medicine. It is medical science, medical uh, uh, scientific field, which mainly serves for legal needs. It deals with application of medical knowledge for legal purposes, for the purpose of law and justice. Usually, uh, we are speaking uh, about the forensic medicine to medical students and law faculty students. So when I speak to law faculty students, I don't focus much on the law and justice, but as medical students not used to be involved in the legal terms, uh, these are very important uh, uh, definitions. So I want to give you a general idea what is the law, which is defined as the rules of personal conduct informed by institutions uh, or state in state usually these institutions may be the courts uh, or it is code of conduct established by authority parliament society custom in azerbaijan republic uh, the law legislation is created as in many other countries maybe yours as well by national parliament elected by the Azerbaijan people. Uh, parliament, national parliament is the main legislative body of the country according to our main law, uh, main constitution. <coughs> we have three branches of power in the country, which is legislative, is parliament, Milli Majlis it is called, the executive, which is represented by the president and the cabinet of ministers, and the third is the court power. Uh, represented by Supreme Court and District and Cities Courts. So, uh, uh, law as a medicine is a big ocean of science. So, as medicine is divided into different scientific fields, law is also divided into many legal subjects. Among these uh, uh, lots of the legal subjects, there are certain which are very closely related to the forensic medicine. And most of them are about the crime or illegal activities which are related with the health and life of the people. Among them, on the first place, I would put criminalistics. We are very closely related with criminalistics, the legal science which is related with the strategy and tactics of the discovery of the crimes uh, uh, and uh, as a criminalistic science, forensic medicine in past, even as a scientific field, was called as medical criminalistics. We are closely related 
from historically i was using uh, this example of the literature in my lectures uh, in examples from and arthur conan doyle the famous british writer author of the famous novels about sherlock holmes and dr watson i am giving these examples to my students that there is no crime related with the homicide uh, uh, which may be discovered without expertise uh, of forensic medical doctor and it is not occasional that uh, the second personage in the novels of conan doyle uh, beside the sherlock holmes is dr watson uh, the owner of medical profession owner of the medical profession because medical knowledge is very important to discover such kind of the crimes so uh, the second uh, level of the legal subject closely related with forensic medicine it is criminal law and criminal process it is a branch of law that relates to crime it might be defined as the body of rules that defines conduct that is not allowed because it is held to threaten harm or endanger the safety and welfare of people and that sets out the punishment to be imposed on people who don't obey these laws so a criminal court of certain country it is the code of the laws and the list of the actions or these actions lack of actions which lead to the criminal responsibility and in Azerbaijan, it is criminal court of Azerbaijan Republic. It is more than uh, 300 uh, articles inside. And there are a group of articles which are related with the criminal actions <clears throat> against the life and health of the people and criminal actions in the medical profession, for example, certain positional uh, 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 actions like corruption, like abuse of power, etc., which medical knowledge is also may be implied during the discovery of such kind of the crimes and the third level of subjects related from law sciences related with forensic medicine it is civil law as opposed to criminal law it is the branch of law dealing with disputes disputes between individuals or organizations in which compensation may be awarded to the victim for example for instance if a car crash victim claims damage against the driver for loss or injury sustained in an accident this will be a civil law case in this case not criminal responsibility but compensation monetary responsibility uh, is going on from this point uh, most of you probably have understanding what is the crime but i would say that crime is a breach of rules of laws for which some governing authority can ultimately prescribe a conviction so a criminal court or penal court in certain countries it is called like a penal court is a document which complies all or a significant amount of a particular jurisdiction's criminal law uh, typically a criminal court will contain offenses which are recognized in the jurisdiction it means that in the framework in the boundaries of the certain country penalties which might be imposed for these offenses and some general provisions such as definitions and prohibitions or retroactive prosecution very in turn very important term also the criminal procedure refers to the adjudication process of the criminal law while criminal procedure differs dramatically by jurisdiction from the different countries it differs to different countries the process generally begins with a formal criminal charge and results in the conviction or acquittal of the defendant. In the first lecture, I give such kind of uh, definitions which are important, especially for medical students. That is why I will give some definitions also related with the homicide, murder, manslaughter, suicide, and accident and assault, which are very important also to give some understanding what is the homicide homicide it is the killing of one person by another and there are two types it's one of the murder when there is intention it is intentional and unlawful killing of one person by another unlawful 
It means that because there are certain cases when killing of other person may be legally uh, uh, permitted. For example, in certain countries, in the prisons, uh, this is during in, even in Azerbaijan during the military actions when people allowed to kill other. It is the fight. It is war. So it is the intentional and unlawful killing of one man by others. And manslaughter, when act of killing a person unlawfully but not intentionally, or it is by negligence, it happens. Suicide, it is intentional killing of himself. Accident, accident, an unexpected or undesirable event causing injury, damage or death. And assault is a violent attack. It refers also to an offer to threat or attempt to apply force to the body of another in a hostile manner. So generally, again, to return to the definition of forensic medicine, forensic medicine is the medical branch which deals with application of medical knowledge for the legal perspectives, for the legal needs, for furthering legal norms, and furthering justice. What is the justice? The justice we accept as the highest value. This highest value comes both from ethical norms and legal norms. It comes from the religious uh, norms, religious books. In all the uh, uh, religions, main religions like Judaism, uh, uh, for example, in Torah, in Christianism, in Bible, in Evangelia, uh, and in Islam, in Quran, justice it is the highest value. And all historically, all times, people usually struggle for justice. And in each case, the relations between the people in society comes to the point when justice is searched. And during this search, when you're searching the justice, there are certain cases when medical knowledge may be implied. But we will speak about these particularities in the next lectures, but I will give you four main rules of justice, which makes, uh, the, which is called golden rule of justice. And the first is law is equal for everyone. So if some written law exists, it must be working for everyone in the society in the same range. If in society it doesn't work, it's similar to the rich and poor, to the person on the position and to the person without position. It depends on some uh, belonging to social group or political group, etc. It means in the system there is not a justice. The second principle is everyone is equal in front of the law. So again, for example, man and woman, white and black, should be equal in front of the law. The third main principle, the guiltiness must be proven without any doubt. So it is uh, in Western countries, sometimes you see it in, in the movie, but even in Japan, in uh, uh, Singapore and other Asian countries, also the similar people, when they're taken by police, they have a right to keep a silence. So conviction must be proven by prosecution office, by prosecution by, uh, investigator. If he cannot prove even if this person made this crime, but if it is not proven without doubt, he will be released by court. It is the golden, one of the golden principles. In, for example, in Soviet times, in our countries, in past, in Azerbaijan, and sometimes in the mentality of certain people even now, it may be, exist till now that if top thinks that this person is guilty, the system makes him guilty. And in such case, the, the only way how to make release from this acquisition is to prove the system that I am not a guilty. But it is not job in the, of the person in case of the real democracy. 
and the finally is uh, uh, we call it innocence presumption presumption of innocence unless this is not proven the person is innocent he person should be accepted as innocent so all our forensic medical knowledge need to be used with the respect of this principle so what is the forensic medicine and what is the forensic medical expertise the simple differentiation that forensic medicine is the name of the science so it is the theoretical knowledge it is medical knowledge uh, which is served for the use of the legal needs forensic medical expertise it is practical implication of this knowledge in the practice for the serving of law enforcement bodies during the cases when they need to get some uh, when they gain some medical biological questions and need which need to be responded from this point in azerbaijan there are <coughs> a certain group of law enforcement bodies may be similar to your countries also it is his organs of ministry of internal affairs or police minister of national security prosecution office the ministry of justice which is mainly represented by the courts unfortunately in certain times our court system and minister of justice which is the branch of executive power, power somehow they are still connected so in <coughs> uh, term of the scientific uh, uh, connections forensic medicine is well connected with other branches of the medicine uh, both theoretical like anatomy uh, normal anatomy pathologic anatomy physiology normal and pathologic physiology it is well connected with clinical sciences like first of all traumatology because traumatology is learning the injuries traumas and forensic medicine is also very well involved closely involved with injuries we are closely related with clinical toxicology surgery general surgery neurosurgery with obstetrics gynecology uh, ringology pediatry and other branches of the clinical medicine we're also closely related with uh, prevention uh, and organizational branch of medicine like public health uh, uh, disaster management medicine the uh, uh, sanitary fields which is in western practice it is the part of the public uh, medicine in our post-soviet times it is the different sanitary uh, medical biology medical <coughs> diagnostics equipments radiology uh, the hygiene etc but we're also well connected with non-medical branches. i mentioned before the legal subjects but also non even legal subjects because we are closely related with physics chemistry biology mathematics why because we use the methods in our forensic medical investigations we use physical methods chemical medics for example chromatography spectrophotometry the research in infrared or uh, ultraviolet uh, 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 the research uh, of uh, colored imprints the uh, gen uh, genetic dactyloscopy dna analysis etc so different methods we are used in forensic medicine which become the special forensic medical method but with the use of the knowledge of different fields of the science we closely connected with philosophy also because logic is when one of the main points of forensic medical expertise knowledge because each time each conclusion which we come after our observation we need to interpret to explain in legal authorities the consequence and logic of our answers any conclusion of forensic medical expert need to be interpreted and given in simple not terminology way to the legal professionals once in 1994 i was part of the commission on investigation of certain military cases when foreign expert he was the first foreign expert coming to azerbaijan in this field in 1994 
Professor Derek Pounder, head of the department of forensic medicine in Dundee University, United Kingdom, he visited Baku to investigate 10 corpses, and by chance I was given as translator to him. Not from the first instance, but after the third, when two translators came to the mortuary, seeing the exhumated after five months uh, of death, 10 bodies of our military soldiers, and uh, collapsed in the mortuary because of the not good smell and uh, picture. And so I was given as only English speaking expert by that time to him to help to make this investigation. And during this, this investigation, he told that he was requested by all legal authorities, what kind of equipment, what other materials do you need to make this quick, efficient, objective? He said, don't worry. I brought everything with myself, but you came with one, just one briefcase. How you can, how you can uh, do without all this equipment? And his response was dramatically good. He said, "For good, efficient, and objective expertise, I have everything which I need. I have my eyes to see, I have my brain to analyze, and I have my hand to write." So, seeing. Observation is very important, analysis is very important, and interpretation, how you will interpret the analytical find-outs is very important. From this point, yeah, forensic medicine is fascinating field of the science. Uh, you, you are using your knowledge for justice. It is fascinating. And this is coming from the history. It, uh, historical knowledge is very important because you should understand that historically, these needs came after crimes, after death cases made in the deep history. And that is why I, I sometimes in lessons I give this example from Quran in, uh, to my students when uh, we have the St. Yusuf case and the Surah in Quran, which is uh, number 12, when uh, Yusuf is a guy who brought by the uh, crown prince to his house and there is a uh, uh, discussable situation when the wife of this complex likes the Yusuf and wants to have relationship with him, but he cannot because he is still loyal to his owner and uh, he refrains from the relationship. And it happens that he was assaulted by her and when this situation is discussed, both of them, Yusuf and the wife of the crown prince, gives the different scenario. And uh, the judge makes decision. And during the making decision, he uses the forensic medical knowledge about the localization of abrasions and ruptures on the shirt. The witness, as a, let's say, forensic medical expert saying that if abrasions and ruptures are on the front of the body, it means that Yusuf has been attacking. If on the back, it means he was attacked. So the true injustice comes from this situation. So historically, this is uh, historically uh, uh, grounded the forensic medical existence. From this point, I would give you another example which is a fact coming from uh, ancient Roma Empire because uh, in Roma Empire it is one of the state civilization and forensic medicine development is closely related with the state with the state medicine. In Germany even nowadays the name of the forensic medicine is Reichs medicine which means uh, state medicine. So uh, in ancient Roma uh, in uh, 44 years before our era, uh, the case of murder of great emperor Guy Julius says Caesar. You know, most of you probably know his this name. He was killed. He was killed by 23 senators. Each one of them had a knife, and after Senate meeting, they surrounded him and attacked. 
and 23 knife wounds were found on his body, but just one was penetrating to the chest and was cause of the death. Others were superficial. Why we do know that? Because of the Dr. Antisti observation and description in the first forensic medical document which came to us as a document and it is considered as the first forensic medical document. So you see documentation is also very important. Observation, analytical, conclusion and documentation. This is the process of forensic medicine. So historically forensic medicine uh, was founded in the great Ch in the ancient China, 3,000 years before our era. When we see in the writings uh, there are some general rules how the scene of crime must be investigated, how body corpses must be investigated, injuries, blood spots, uh, traces of the fingers must be investigated. <laughs> then, then the second wave of uh, manuscripts coming from the Hammurabi cod Codex uh, in Great Babylon. From ancient India, there are writings about the corpse investigation. So generally, I would say the Oriental world, world is the main source of forensic medical knowledge. But in the European countries with ancient Roma, ancient Greens, we have fundamental research and writing. For example, Hippocrat writings uh, consist descriptions of pregnancy, abortion, uh, some severity of certain injuries, the traumas and fractures of the skull injuries. So all of them have very high forensic medical uh, no, uh, significance. In Roma, besides the Antisti writing, we have 12 table system. Uh, uh, which was right, written in 448 before our era, when the violent death and legal birth uh, have been described. Some uh, explanations of psychological disorder and psychiatric diseases and the presence of the medical doctor during the uh, death uh, cases were described. Pregnancy rules have been Right, written in Adrian Codex and in the Code of Justinian when it is, was written first time about important, uh, of importance of the medical doctor conclusions during investigation of the death cases but also description of certain poisoning, the importance of the definition of the age and pregnancy. But uh, mostly the development starts after 7th, 8th century, first in the uh, Arabic world, in uh, ancient Egypt, in ancient Syria, in Middle East during the Golden Century, and after Golden Century in Europe. You know that in the Middle East during the Golden Century, it was uh, a period of prosper uh, flourishing of scientific knowledge here astronomy, mathematics, philosophy, poesy, poetry, and including the medical knowledge. <laughs> we have writings. I attended as a vice president of World Association for Medical Law and vice president of European Association for Medical Law. I was one of the uh, few uh, very selected world leading specialists attending the 2017 meeting of forensic, leading forensic medical experts in Saudi Arabia, uh, uh, hosted by the uh, first deputy prime minister and crown prince Mohammed bin Naif. He was just crown prince be be before present one, Mohammed uh, bin Salman. And uh, 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 famous, uh, and uh, I, I uh, took part in the discussion about the history when very interesting talks were given and was given that uh, in 7, 8, 9th century uh, a lot of oriental uh, scientists were interested and made first time autopsies of the body. One case was the case of the doctor who made autopsy of his mom mother 
who was treated by him uh, for certain diseases, but she died, unfortunately, and he was making autopsy to learn what is the reason of his death. So this is excellent cases, which is showing that before the difference of autopsy history in Oriental, including Muslim countries and European countries, about three, four hundred years, three, four centuries. And after three, four centuries, after Oriental world, in 12th, 13th centuries in Europe, especially in Italy and France, in Porta, Bologna, Sicilia universities. In France, it is Montpellier University when first autopsy started to be implemented at the Department of Anatomy, where the classes of forensic medics, medicine, or cases of forensic medical uh, nature have been investigated. In 1532, in Carolina, uh, uh, in German, uh, called by Carl V, it was written that all violent deaths, children deaths, poisoning, uh, should be attended by a medical doctor. In 1675 in France, famous French surgeon Ambroise Paré, in his tractat, which is called Surgery, gave importance to forensic medical written document during investigation of forensic cases, cases related with the law. But as a name, forensic medicine comes after 1690 when German doctor Johann Bohm in Leipzig he makes a book which is called Specimen Medicine Forensis. So the word of forensic comes to us after Johann Bond's book. So in the most English-speaking countries, the name of the subject is forensic medicine. Uh, in certain Franco-language countries, like France, it is Medicina Legale. And in certain countries, like Romania and other Frank uh, kind of Rom Romanian language, it may be used as legal medicine. In Turkish, it is uh, in Turkish it is adlitip. In in Persian, it is tajeshki gaumini. So in different kind uh, countries, of course, the different in Azer in Azeri it is mehkemeta babati. In Russian, it is sudyevna medicina. But main uh, it is the name consists legal and medical part together. So, uh, in other geography, which is forensic medicine development, is important for us as Azerbaijan. It is Russia because we, for about 300 years, we were under influence of Russia during Soviet terms and pre-Soviet time. So, in Russia, forensic medicine started to develop after 16th century, and in 1716, by Pyotr I, Emperor of Russia. He made uh, uh, his Article 154 in military code that in all cases of the death, medical doctor, uh, when when cause of death is uncertain, medical doctor need to explain it, and if it is violent, uh, the body must be investigated by autopsy. In 1755, first lectures about forensic on forensic medicine started to be taught in Moscow University and the first professor on forensic medicine and author of the textbook on forensic medicine was Professor Bensovich and after we don't have much information what is happening but in all Hubernias all districts of big Russian Empire uh, Stadtphysik were implementing these autopsies on the needs of police. In 1842 forensic medicine court is Written, and it was working until 1917 when a big evolution happened and Soviet power came. After Soviet power, the <coughs> after Soviet power, forensic medical service was created. At the beginning, he was under the not ministry but commissariat, people commissariat. It was called like ministry under uh, commissariat of internal affairs. In 1926, it moved to the health commissariat and it was given to health commissariat for the purpose of independence so forensic medical expertise cannot be influenced by investigator or by courts or by legal system from these purposes you should know that when we speak about forensic sciences there are about up to 30 forensic scientific disciplines forensic medicine is 
one of them and generally it complains from three main subjects forensic medicine forensic psychiatry forensic narcology in certain countries forensic sexology and forensic toxicology but all of them is forensic medicine in azerbaijan forensic medicine it means everything except psychiatry and narcology because these uh, fields are also on the Minister of Health, but we are we are not related with us. It is a kind of different subject. All other non-medical forensic sciences in Azerbaijan under the control of Minister of Justice. There is forensic medical institution under the Minister of Health. There is more forensic psychiatry and narcology units under the Minister of Health, but also there is forensic sciences center in the Minister of Justice, which includes other fields like ballistics, for example, the forensic uh, knowledge related with firearms, thrasology with traces, graphology with writings, dactyloscopy with fingerprints, uh, autotechnical, which is uh, with cars and uh, car accidents. So a lot of different brands, up to 30, forensic psychology, for example. It's a, so it is nothing related to us, but generally very closely related with criminalistics, generally. So coming back to the Soviet times, in 1921, the Independent Forensic Medical Service is established. In 1932, Institute of Forensic Medicine for the Development of Forensic Medical Science. In 1937, the position of the Chief Forensic Medical Expert is established, and Professor Popov uh, uh, making this job d during 1937-1941 and 1941-1979 to very famous Professor Pozorovsky. After 1979, uh, nine, Professor Tomilin, General, General Lieutenant Tomilin, he was military forensic medical expert, he was implementing chief forensic medical expert of the country, I knew him personally. In 1946, the All Union Forensic Medical Society, Scientific Society, was led for 30 plus years by Professor Smolyaninov and after that by Professor Gromov. 1958, in Soviet Union, it was established the Central Journal, which is called Forensic Medical Expertise. It is still functioning. So, Soviet and Russian scientists made, <coughs> and they were well known scientists generally. Professor Minakov, Gromov, Krukov, Gromov, uh, Abrikosov, Tomilin, Chistovich, Shor, Bakarius, Raisky uh, were, let's say, founders of forensic medical knowledge in our part of the world. In Azerbaijan, about when we're speaking about Azerbaijan forensic medicine, we have just one name which is related to non-Soviet time. It is name of Mirza Muhammad Ibn Abdul Sabur Tabrizi Gobelli. He, this is person who lived in the southern part of Azerbaijan, near to Tabriz, and he was making investigations in the beginning of 19th century. Uh, the book which he was uh, written was called Mufassal Tashri. It was an anatomical book about the structure of the body and uh, shown, showing his autopsy experiences. After the book of the Tabrizi Gobali, and the Soviet time, there is vacuum. We don't have any writings, any information. We can assume that during these case, cases, the criminal cases, murder cases, were investigated by police doctors, by certain regional doctors, etc. So all other past, uh, remaining history starts from the Soviet times. And in Soviet times, it starts with the establishment of Azerbaijan University in 1919. Last year, we had 100 years celebration, jubilee of the university. Uh, it, it, it was established as Azerbaijan University. Now it is called as Baku State University and law faculty still exists there. So between 1919 and 1931, medical faculty was functioning in this Azerbaijan University. In 1931, this medical fact faculty was separated and established as Azerbaijan Medical Institute, which was transferred in 1992 into Azerbaijan Medical University, where you study now. So the first head of the Department of Forensic Medicine in the Medical Faculty of Azerbaijan University was Dr. Leprinsky Ivan Mikhailovich, who was leading the department until 1928. After his death, Dr. Shirakagorov, 
who was the chair of the pathology anatomy department also implementing this job for one year and in 1929 professor ranovsky came from perm from russia to take the position and he was leading the department until 1948 being the chief of the department and the chief forensic medical expert of the country these 20 years was reflected in many kind of activities <coughs> and he made great contributions to the development of forensic medicine in Azerbaijan. First time the Museum of Forensic Medicine was established, which is still functioning behind our lecture room. You see the exponents which are still serving us during our practical uh, lessons. It was established in 1929. The laboratories of forensic chemistry and forensic biology was established, were established in 1932. And first textbooks in Russian and in Azerbaijan by Azerbaijan authors were written in, during Rozhanovsky time. So uh, the, after uh, uh, him, the department have been taken for certain uh, one two years by docent Dasaev, and in 1949 until uh, 1970. It was led by the pathologer anatom Dr. Alisatar Sultanov. Then uh, after him, it was uh, uh, Dr. Semyonov and Aliyev uh, uh, Aligulu Atakishiev until 1980. And after Atakishiev, Atakishiev, it is the person whom I knew already. He was opponent of my PhD dissertation. I know the remaining and the coming scientists. Professor Shamil Selimkhanov, Professor Rafik Yusuf Lee, both of them unfortunately passed away, but they were great scientists, authors of the main textbooks on forensic medicine. Both of them, different years, were serving as the chief forensic medical experts of the country and chiefs of the Department of Forensic Medicine. Then, <coughs> after the death of Professor Yusuf Lee, Dr. Uh, Zabit Mamadov was implementing this job for a year, and since 2004 up to now, Professor Mansur uh, Bunyatov is chairing the department and he used to be also the chief forensic medical expert during 2004-2017 and deputy of general director of the Forensic Medical Service of Azerbaijan on forensic medicine issues. Uh, another professor, at the moment there are three professors on forensic medicine in Azerbaijan, Professor Bunyatov, the second one is Professor Shakir Musayev, who used to be the general director of forensic medical service in Azerbaijan during 1997-2017 and he leads the department of forensic medicine in the advancement training institute uh, for doctors in the ministry of health since 1998 and the third professor of forensic medicine is your uh, teacher professor Bugar Maman who is teaching you now to you this lecture and uh, another professor who is pathologic anatomist but also, but related to forensic medicine because he's now present general director of the service professor Adalat Hassanov he's chief of the department of pathologic anatomy of Azerbaijan Medical University maybe you know him also during previous year lessons and I speaking about the history and organizational point I want to give some information saying that uh, in Azerbaijan, besides the civil forensic medical system, there is also military forensic medical system under the Minister of Defense. It was created in 1992 after getting independence of the country. So, from this point, I am finishing the history of forensic medicine and some words about the organizational basis of forensic medical in Azerbaijan. So, organization and conduction of conduction of forensic medical experts in Azerbaijan is responsibility of the only state forensic medical organization of the country, which is institution of forensic medicine expertise and pathologic anatomy of the Minister of Health. We can call it further as institution, let's say. This institution is led by general director who is appointed by the Minister of Health with consent of the chiefs of the legal bodies of the country, which as I said, General Prosecutor, uh, Minister of Justice, Minister of Interior, and Minister of National Security. Forensic medical expertise or, or examination is appointed by law enforcement officials 
which is inquirer, investigator, prosecutor, or judge, by written application. In case of the criminal case, it should be the order to make the forensic medical expertise. This order may be done in certain cases during the, and I'm moving to the, some point to the legal basis of forensic medical expertise for Azerbaijan. In certain cases, first, to define the cause of the death when it is uncertain and when the death is coming uh, out of the hospitals, out of the medical con control, it means that it is uncertain death. <coughs> so, in all these cases, forensic medical expertise need to be appointed. In all cases of injuries, uh, to identify the character and severity of these injuries, forensic medical expertise need to be appointed. In all cases, when the documents of the alive person is absent and age is not determined, or it is unknown person, you need to make the forensic medical expertise. According to the Criminal Procedural Code, there are two more cases when forensic medical expertise may be appointed. But as I said in the beginning, they are psychiatric and narcology origin because if you have uh, if legal bodies have suspicious or doubts about the psychological status of the person about uh, his ability to understand the processes and to take responsibility on them or if there is doubt that this person is alcoholic or it is drug abuser uh, drug addict in such cases forensic psychiatric and forensic narcology expertise may be also appointed from legal basis, you need to know that all our activities in forensic medical expertise is legally bounded. We are acting in the uh, strict legal boundaries, uh, which is start ac according to the legal hierarchy from constitution, then laws, and main laws which are related with us. It is a law about the forensic medical expertise activity in Azerbaijan Republic coming in 2000. And legal law uh, about the health of the Azerbaijan population, 1997 decree. Uh, there are uh, decrees coming from the Minister of Health, decrees of the Cabinet of Ministers, which and the uh, foundation document of the institution, which is describes and have a set of rules of the different kind of the forensic medical activities. From organizational point, institution uh, uh, has branch or we call it bureaus in each district and city of the country and each bureau has two departments at least it is mortuary and ambulatory mortuary for dead bodies investigation ambulatory for the alive people investigation uh, in forensic medical actually we have four objects to investigate dead bodies alive people which is clinical forensic medical expertise it is the uh, evidences, material evidences of uh, biological origin, for example, blood spot, hair, sperm, saliva, etc. And the documents, documents of the court, sessions, investigation, etc. So, <clears throat> in the regions and cities, in all geography of Azerbaijan, bodies and alive people are investigated on sites, except the difficult cases, complex cases, except some uh, cases which need a uh, higher level of the knowledge, for example, medical malpractice, death cases in the medical hospitals, the, uh, sex some sexual crimes, some cases which has uh, high state importance, etc., they will be sent to Baku for investigation in the departments of the Combrick expertises. And uh, uh, all the laboratories, labs, like Forensic chemistry, forensic biology, medical criminalistics, genetic dactyloscopy, DNA, forensic histology uh, are located in Baku. So all materials are sent to Baku. So to get these results from the labs, it takes time. That is why, according to our legislation, for forensic medical investigation, one month period for the uh, death cases investigation and one week for the clinical cases is given by law to conclude and to make the <clears throat> to send the conclusion of the forensic medical expert to the legal bodies. Besides this lab labs departments in the institution in Baku, we have the certain let's say uh, organizational 
and methodical departments, commission expertise department, complicated expertises department, uh, control department, uh, organizational operative forensic medical service, centralized forensic medical service, identification department, forensic odontology, forensic ringology, biochemistry, spectrographic, and molecular genetic examinations department. All mentioned above departments are situated in the capital, Baku, with an institution. So, <clears throat> according to Azerbaijan legislation, the main objectives of forensic medical expertise are determination of the cause of death, determination of character or mechanism, severity degree, and time of injuries, responding any relevant questions of the law enforcement bodies, inquiry, investigator, prosecutor, court, determination of harm to health of the victim, accused, convicted, and arrested people, examination of sexual crimes and sexual conditions, and responding to rele relevant questions of prosecutors or court, examination of material evidences, examination of documents of criminal and civil cases, participation as specialist or expert in different investigative actions like scene of crime investigation, exhumation, interrogations. In all cases of forensic medical investigation, investigator may attend, and unless if the case is not related with the naking of the uh, object. Uh, if the object is the different sex, uh, investigator cannot attend, uh, and in such case he need to quit. And in case, if we, especially in the sexual cases, sexual uh, uh, conditions investigation or sexual crimes investigation uh, as even being forensic medical expert is not enough you need to invite the <coughs> representative of the same uh, sex to attend the case so generally it is the first hour lecture is coming to conclusion and uh, I spoke more than a time which was allocated actually but general to give you idea that uh, forensic medical have several chapters very important chapters and uh, I will give some, uh, uh, I am set another four lectures about the different chapters, which will be forensic traumatology, the chapter about the traumas and injuries, the forensic thanatology, the chapter about the death and post-mortem processes, the uh, chapter about the forensic toxicology, which is chapter about the poisonings, and chapter about the hypoxic conditions, asphyxias, and impact of the, on the body by physical factors like hypo and hyperthymia, drowning, and etc. But besides of that, there are other chapters also, which is clinical forensic medicine, which is the investigation of the material evidences, investigation of the documents, and investigation of medical malpractice. So all of these are very interesting in <coughs> different chapters. Uh, in the uh, post-mortem chapter, I will give you more Detail, detail the cases of uh, post-mortem investigation, but as we don't have the clinical expertise case, I would say that about the clinical cases, uh, uh, the leaving people coming to the forensic medical expertise for the reason of the investigation of the injuries or investigation of diseases, if it is interesting for the law enforcement bodies, the cases of uh, sexual conditions, which is for example, virginity, pregnancy, past abortion, past delivery, hermaphroditism, uh, sexual ability, etc. The cases of sexual <coughs> sexual crimes like rape, uh, other sexual disorders, uh, the definition, uh, determination of maternity and paternity, determination of alcohol or narcotic abuse, determination of age and identification of the person. That's all for the first lecture, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen. I wish you to be safe during this quarantine period, to stay at home, not to put under risk your health and health of your surrounding people. Uh, please stay safe and hope to see you in near future during the, our lectures in the Department of Forensic Medicine. See you. Take care. Bye-bye.